Hello, hello. Here we are, um, live yet again. Oh no, I'm torturing all of you, ah, etc, etc. Anyway, hi guys, um, it's again Raz, and today I'm playing some Thomas Was Alone. Since people, certain people, have been hassling me to stream again. And I was off today, so I guess I might as well. Even though I could still stream if I wasn't off at this time of day, but still, that doesn't matter. I've had a nice <laughs> relaxing day, which is the important part. I guess, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to start a new game with this and see where where I'm gonna end up. It's been ages since I played this game, but I do remember it was a really good game. Um, it does seem to be a bit, um, how do you say it, narration heavy, I guess, or story heavy, I don't know. But you'll find out. The, the narration is really, really good though. So, anyway, let's, let's just start this. There we go. Bomb, bomb. The program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coder started adding name strings to LS's joke. Thomas at 80... 23, 6, 12. Blah, Thomas blah, blah. was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. Boonk. Yes, this is a platform and I'm Raz. Oh, you still have the splash screen. Let me fix that. Why? Why didn't it switch? There you go. You missed one. Oh, it's fine. You're like the only one who was watching anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Yes, for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, there you go. falling. Thomas was good at falling. I accidentally skipped it. Oh well, let's go. Okay, oh. interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think! What if there was some kind of inverted fall? An inverted fall! To... Let's the... fall invertedly! Jump. <laughs> also, hi, Haruhu, and hi, Fuzzy. It worked! Thomas yes. had solved the great inverted fall mystery. The great inverted fall mystery. I don't know. <coughs> A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him. Yes. Gently. It was pushing him. Bloom. I don't know. Oh dear. This all seemed a little dangerous. A little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. I want that thing over there. Oh. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world Bloom. was not Yay. To be trusted. Ah, I got it. I don't know. I just remember this I had to get those. This all seemed a little dangerous. Oh God. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Yes. You've never played this. You ch you should. It's a nice game. Really Thomas narration heavy, but whether still. Whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might, or might not, be important. There you go. Oh god, here we go. <clears throat> it might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. I'm it not sure who narrates it. Designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? I... No. Too obvious. Isn't it the same guy who plays, like, the, um... Oh, he he does the, um... The, the thing in, in Portal 2. Um... Oh, the bot that goes evil. I think that's him. He also does Assassin's Creed games. That's the only games I know that he actually does. Ooh, I'm going to... Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Let's 
Danny Wallace. He made another mental note. Oop, oops. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. Oh my god. Is that is that Steven? I don't know. Bloop. I don't know. I'm bad with people. Danny Wallace. I don't know. There you go. Yay. I don't the know. loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note taking could combat that. Yes. If if they tell me not to swim, of course I'll go swim. It's like a rule. You have to. Wow, it was surprisingly easy. Bloop. Come, come. Come, come. Okay, let's do this. Thomas had a new theory. <coughs> the world was training All him. British people are the same. He could same. feel himself getting smarter. I just there called you all Jordies. to consider. <laughs> Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Bunk. He was evolving. Yay. He just wished he had someone to share it with. I, oh, ah, God, that was... Yeah. Okay. Let's get someone to oh, share this with. You're a twat, TDK. Bloom. Oh. Oh, oh, new part of the story. Yay. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told this idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts more than one AI was bound to be spawned into an environment at one point. Thus, I missed a point. Yes. Bloom. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Yes. Boom. Um. Yay. Boom. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. Yay. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping uh. about like he owned the place. Okay. Yay. Chris is so jelly, yeah. Just like you. Ooh, I called you jelly. I don't know why. Ow. map just hit me in the face. <clears throat> I don't know why it hit me in the face. Bomb. You jiggle, but you're not jelly. Uh, it's a bit of both, I think. He... Oh, there they are. Was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? Mm. What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? If your hands are cold, stick them up your ass. Usually does the trick. Grace, another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Bloom! Stopping you doing your homework? It's okay. If you fail, that means you get to do more homework. Yay! On the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't Yay. shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas hmm. had joined him. I'm sure he'd been able to piggyback his way <laughs> oh, to God. ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, 
to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Oh, 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 let's try this again. Yeah, how dare I to be and I don't know. Ah. Uh. Uh, it's just like the moment where everybody calls me a cheater, and then when I actually actually do cheat, it's only because they told me to. Kind of ridiculous. There we go. Next! We can do this. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends <laughs> together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Yay. Well, it would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. Yeah, the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Ah! Yay! I guess we're being split up now. Ah! Raz is on a slightly bigger screen. What? What are you talking about? Wow, God, that was close. No, I still no. Now he gets the what? I have I have no idea what you mean. Oh, you host it. You host it. Okay. Um. You guys are weird. But then again, I didn't need the chat to tell me that. You're TTK and fuzzy, so there you go. Yay! I did it. Raz is a reading pro, yes. I'm like a hero. A professional extremist. I don't know. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. This was game day? Ah! No! Ah! Shit. Bloom! He's a humorist. I guess. I don't know. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? Yeah, <laughs> Like a medicalist or a computerist. I don't know. You're, you guys are crazy. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Awesome! Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. Bloom! John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Oh, John is so caring. From the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. Oh my god. He sounds he sounds like a psychopath. Well, it's I guess it more is sociopath rather than a psychopath, but still. No, nope. come on. Bloomp. Ah. Yep, oh, we can do this. Ay, yeah, there we go. Uh, this game is actually really sad in some ways. It is. It is a little sad. 
And you feel sorry for a rectangle because you're a fuzzy boy and you're an absolute lunatic. Also, um, yeah. I was gonna say batshit insane, but that wouldn't be very nice. True, but not very nice. <laughs> no! Actually, you will do as well. No, I'm nice to my viewers, I'm just mean to you two, which is perfectly fine. I'm sure you'll survive. Ah. Come on, John. John there you go. John was happy to keep helping. Yay. He felt it was go important John. to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Oh my god, he does sound, he sounds like some kind of creepy, creepy creep creep. That I don't even know. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Yay. Oh no. I have to do it this way, don't I? Oh, I can jump. Go. Yeah, once more, yay. No, ah, crud. Okay, let's try this again. Those rectangles have more personality than the highly detailed characters in AAA games. That is true. But that's because they're awesome triangles. Triangles? Rectangles. Apparently they're triangles as well, I'm just saying. Hey! And up. Hey! And up. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. Ah. Okay. Yes, they're they're awesome for us. No, no, no. For us side wreck triangles. Now I'm trying to say it wrong and I still say it. Jesus. Ah, no, no. Frick. No! Ah! Bastards! Uh, fine. Okay, let's try this again. They're wrecked triangles. Yes! I... Stop judging me. Okay. Let's try this again. I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing this badly. I just seem to be. Um. No! What? How does it keep happening? This is this is not supposed to be like this. This is cruel. Come on, come on. Not Tetris? That sounds like the title of the worst game ever. Also, hi. Hi, Sly. I'm only a scrub because you made it, so... 
I'm not sure what that means. So to ask. I I really have no idea. The orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. So John is just some creepy psychopath. No, it's sociopath thing. We've been through this. Why do I keep calling him a psychopath? He's a sociopath. Quite obviously so. Hey! There we go. Oh! Crap! There's a thing there. Ah! Almost. That doesn't work, Fuzzy. It really, really doesn't. Bling! I got it. <laughs> there we go. And... Ching. One more. Bling! There we go. Let's do that. Tetris except rotation and movement are smooth and it's everything really is physics enabled. Oh, that sounds horrible. Target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. One more. We just ah. It's actually really fun. I'm not sure about that whole. It's really fun thing. But yeah, sure. Um, Maybe that's for what it. the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make oh his performance God. even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. He is a sociopath. I mean, really. Just really. He decided to keep his friends. To keep them. Like a pack. What even? Additional group possessed simple variety variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inevitable. As the era spread, these variations became increasingly extreme. This was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. Yes. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Ah. Uh. Wait. What? Yay! Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not. In fact, John is a dick. No, he's a sociopath. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Yay! Superpowers! Bloom. <laughs> Yay! You need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. Yes. Go, Claire! You know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. It was superpower. Superpower! Super Claire! I don't know. Alright! Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you! <laughs> Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. <laughs> I should stop doing that before I accidentally kill one of them. <laughs> I totally would. No! Get back there, you... Sociopath, person, superhero. Bloom. Yeah. Hi. <coughs> Claire arrived just in time. But 
was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Yes. Come on, come on. Okay. So... Let's save our Thomas buddy. As the water began to um, rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Oh god, in as many restarts as it took. Claire wondered oh. if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Cra no, ah, I, I lost one. She more the lone avenger type. Hmm, she'd like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and Conveniently placed pools of toxic water. <laughs> I'm actually underthinking. It what? You're just being horrible. I think you're a sociopath, Fuzzy. You totally are, you sociopath person. Ah, you're all sociopaths. Told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Come on, I, I knew it, Fuzzy. I knew it. You were just some kind of weird psycho, sociopath person thing. I knew it. I knew it all along. Jump on top of Claire. Doomf. Hey. Oh. Well, that was kind of silly. You can stay over there. And Claire can save them. No. Oh, Jesus. That was kind of absolutely ridiculous. Is it because he's not a Trudy McBum face? No, that's what you were, TDK. You're a Trudy McBum face. <coughs> Claire probably needed a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yay. Yes. Chris. <laughs> Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Bloom. <laughs> yes, TTK got absolutely wrecked. Angle. <laughs> I don't know. Don't judge. And then this one goes there. Plum, plum. And on plum, plum. That one go there. We're judging? That's fine. I'm used to you guys judging. So what do you say? Guilty or not guilty? <laughs> I don't know. Don't know what's going on, really. Wait. Where had Chris gone? Was he off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? Yes, obviously he's was plotting honest. And she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling <laughs> turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. And... Oomph. And... Let's do this some more. Guilty of being a butt face. Um, I guess. I guess that works. No, it doesn't. But, <laughs> um, whatever floats your boat, I guess. 
And let's crush them. Crush them good. Oh. That was a sad, sad, sad excuse for crushing. Whee! Whee! So she passed jump. And now he can go <coughs> to more years in Newcastle. That's okay, I survived so far, so we'll survive again. <sighs> I'm used to it here by now. Moving platforms over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. Of the little posse. Ah! Yeah, hey! Your mum says hello. Hi, mum! I don't know why I called her mum, but I could, so I did. Because there you have it. They were doing really well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Aw, poor Thomas. Thomas is so sad. Yay! 2.9. Oh, come on. Yay. Claire was alone. Which was odd. Because she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Ah! Oh, God! Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. No! Spikes? That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided... They were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. Come on. I'm doing it a horrible job at avoiding them though. <laughs> oh god. Come on. Yeah hey! Okay. Ah! Come on. Boom. Yay, I avoided all of them. After several tries, but yes. Ah. Wow. I died twice in a row. Deja vu. The world was repeating. <coughs> and this time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. A disturbance in the force. Something had altered the matrix. Why can I not jump? The world Jesus. was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It's not letting me jump. What the against hell? them. Claire finally had a nemesis. What? The world? The world is my nemesis. Sad little pathetic. Well, I say little, but. No! Ah! 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 I, why is this so horrible? Oh! I almost had it and then it slid off! That is nonsense. Absolute nonsense, I say. <laughs> we Come on, Claire, let's do this. Boom. That was a bitch on a tablet? I can imagine it would be, yeah. It would definitely be, that's just... no. Build protections into the system when the overlaps occur, the world generated a splitter to remove the unwanted additions. It's like a white blood cell. It investigates, captures, and removes from clay. Okay. Pew! Laura was 
was pleased this one was behind a wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation, hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do, which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. We need to be separate. <coughs> oh god, what the hell is that? Laura didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time and it had kept itself to itself until now. Okay. More important was the little orange thing, which was looking at her in a way that she kind of, well, liked. Bloop. Yay! As the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that he was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounce too, and, <coughs> and they disappeared when her back was turned. Ah. Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remains, looking a little bigger That's and sad. a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. That's sad, though. The pixel cloud is numbing all of them. With every bounce, Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there on another platform or something. Okay. Boink. Yeah, poor Laura. Come on. Boink. She'd wonder what he was up to. Was he missing her? He wasn't saying very much. Oh. Okay. I guess I have to do this and then boing. Yay! Laura loves Chris. Yes. Yes, he does. He does? She does. Chris was in love. She was perfect. He had to tell her so. At some point, he would definitely tell her. Ah, just to fine. Wait for a moment, the large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about, though. Yeah, probably best to wait. Hmm. Oh, wait. Laura! Hump, Chris! Humper, 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 humper. Perfect. Yeah, this is going a lot easier this way. Bad than if I have to hump Laura all the way through this area. Which is a bit silly. <coughs> zoom 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 we bounce. Yay! No, this is the wrong one. Come on. Plunk. Chris oh God. was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. It's not your girlfriend yet. Oh my God, John, get off him. John trying to hump Chris now. Was it too early to refer to Laura as his girlfriend? Only if I yeah. say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off. No, stop it!
Oh, almost. Come on. No, come on. Oh, hey! I don't know how I did that, but I did. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my god, I didn't have to do that at all. Oh shit. That was the worst idea ever. Oh god, shit, okay. Let's let's get him back. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. And jump, jump, yes. And jump, jump. Jump, jump, there we go. Let's see if I can get them up there. And then him up there. There you go, Thomas. And now this guy. We Boom, there we go. That would have been so annoying. I would have been stuck if if I, I had an... Oh. <laughs> I got them too stuck. I had to start over if I, if I actually left them there. Oh, I can't go through yet. And forward. Yes. The others okay. seem suspicious of Laura and the eager-looking pixel cloud of death, which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Oh come on! Rude and always there. Especially always there. That's that's the cruel part. Yay! Wow, that was that was a long shot. Okay. And plump. Where is Thomas anyway? Thomas has kind of disappeared. Where is Thomas? wouldn't drop it. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? No, no we cannot. Yay. I have no idea how I best do this. Yay! Ah! Oh. Okay. Let's do this. No! 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 Ah! Okay. Let's try this again. do this now. Okay. 
got stuck. Oh my god. Okay. Forget it. Okay. Let's do this instead. Plumph. I'm gonna bring Laura across first. Otherwise, I'm going to get myself stuck in the same way. And hey, there we go. And now you can go. Yes. Come up. There you go, Chris. Now go hump your girlfriend. Rude. on the sociopath. Okay. So we actually have to bring Laura up there as well. Okay. No! No! Ah! That that was not what I meant to do. I swear. Okay. <coughs> Come on. There we go. See, now you're kind of glad you've got Laura, don't, aren't you? And wow, wow. Okay. Come on, Laura, you can do this. Yes. Hey! That was faster than I expected it to be, but yes. Okay, so let's do this. Taking a shower. Okay. Ah! Oh, that crashed the game. <laughs> Again. Oh, John's here as well. Anyway, so yeah. Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. No, 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 no. Ah! Too. I killed I all of them. From before. <laughs> oh my god, I killed all of them. I am a monster. One there. Laura 
Come on. She liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. Hey. Okay. Now, where do we end up? So I'm assuming I'll have to do this. Okay. Let's see, there we go. No, no, no! <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, I was so close. <sighs> Come on. Oh, so close. So close. Let's give you a bit of more space. And hope, hope, and hope. Okay. Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around, too. Not like those losers from before. Okay. So, plump. Okay. So, um, let's try to do this. Let's line her up. Wait, a little bit more. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, hey, this time we'll do this. Good. Okay, good. Yes, that's one. And now this one. Oh, he can make it on his own. Perfect. Oh. And, and then you up there. You can... Oh, wait. You need to go in here. And you... Ta-da! Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. Okay. The pixel cloud Bloom. is getting ah! closer. No! More and more time hovering around. Laura could tell it was making the others uncomfortable. Ah, uh, no, no, ah, ah. Ah! Okay. Woohoo, that was close. Okay, so... That is done as well. Now, Laura, you jump on Thomas. Thomas, get on there. And shit. Let's do that on the other side. Come on, Laura. You can do this. Come on. And now... 
Oh, let's not do this just yet. No! Ah! Uh, oh, come on. Come on. Let's try this again. You move on. Yes. Bloom! Okay. Oh, change in music. No simulation can support too many entities. At a certain point, someone something has to give. Oh dear. Thomas did not like the cloud. He'd long since stopped listing his observations, but he instinctively observed that this thing was bad. You can go in there. He'd been right about the water. this um, the music is getting quite odd though so, kind of stop there um This is so ominous in music. Kidding me. Oh, bloomf, bloomf, bloomf. Ah, Chris is stuck. Get off him. Yes. Okay, let's just try this one first. Obviously, I need to get Laura closer. I can put Laura on that first. Hey, that works. Uh, Laura on there. Claire, you over there. Laura, there. Claire, back there. And Thomas, Thomas you can could tell boom. Chris was in love. And that was fantastic and everything, but that didn't mean they could let the Doom Cloud keep following them. Thomas was going to put his foot down once they got to the next level. Yay! Okay. Keep there. 
So I've got these ones, which is good. Now I just need to figure out... Uh, yes, and then you there. Blunk! Hi! I rule. Not really, but... I figured it out, which is just as much, right? I don't know. I have no idea. Chris. Okay. Miss Thomas. Wow. Did not see that coming. He felt a little mm. guilty too. Without his love for Laura and subsequent reunion with the guys, Thomas would probably still be with them. Huh. Thomas is indeed not with them for some reason. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Oh wait. I can do this. Yes, 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 and that was a horrible failure. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, um... Why is this not working? Oh, come on! Should work, right? I'm not sure what I did with that, though. Oh, I moved that. Okay, fair enough. Um, you can go over there, you there, you can there, then there. And jump! Oh, yes. Laura, you over there. I like how Laura just crawled underneath John. And John, it was like, yeah, sure. I'll just move up and down now. It's fine. Leaving a trail. Chris wondered if Thomas was still oh, crap. somewhere. Thomas, don't die. Thomas. Thomas, you're not gonna die. Looking for him, but he did wonder, and and that that showed character. Oh no, this isn't Thomas. This is Chris. What did I, why did I call him Thomas? Ah! Probably. Oh, what are you saying? That food is more important than my streams? How dare you! Ah! No! Come, come. No! Maybe the others hadn't abandoned Laura all that time ago. It begun to dawn on her that she might not be the tragic victim she'd always assumed. Ah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything to this side? Death. Hello there, derpy mongoose. Hello, hello. More important, well, how very much dare you? That is absolute rubbish. I can't believe you speak such utter nonsense. Oh, that's why that's there. So you can crawl on 
there, and John can... Oh, nom 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 nom. Um... You can... I don't know, you can do whatever the hell you like. Ah! No! Fine. John, come back. Go clear! Boom! Oh, no! Claire! Oh my god! Oh my god, that is cruel! They killed Claire! Are you gonna throw more spikes at me? Oh my god! I saw the coming spikes. Naha! Bastards. <laughs> yeah. I killed her. I didn't do anything. But I guess that's the point. But still. Oh, oops. Okay. So, boom. Okay. So what did that change? Oh. It changed pretty, pretty things. Laura had been the bait. She had a hunch that she wasn't needed anymore. Poor Laura has been used and abused. That poor sad little thing. It's a really, really good game. The storytelling in this is just really, really, really awesome. <coughs> it's like when you can get people to feel sad for a frickin' rectangle. <gasps> no! No! Don't eat Laura! You bastard! John looked at Claire. It was just them now. She muttered something under her breath about a vow of vengeance. He didn't see the point. Fighting that thing seemed to be a pretty futile idea. I can't jump on this! Okay, there we go. No, I didn't kill Laura, no! 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 Oh. Okay, never mind. Oh, and then I just instantly... I did kill the yellow one there. But then again, John is a psychopath. Or a sociopath, whatever you wish. Doesn't matter. <coughs> and quickly move away. That worked better than I thought it would. Really? Boom! Yay! Aw, oh, timed ones. I hate timed ones. Come 
Come on. Ho 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 no 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 he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't Oh my god. Oh That was that was that was horrible. No No Claire John John, you're all alone now, you For evil, horrible while, bastard. John didn't have an audience. Yeah, thank God. John is a horrible, horrible rectangle. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now. It just seemed. Oh shit! Shit! No! 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 That's that's not. That wasn't very nice. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. He was alone. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now. It just seemed... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. John is alone. Ah, floomf. Come on. At, at least the water isn't going up here, which is good. <coughs> Come on. Is mocking you for making so much. Well, that's coming from the woman with vagina curtains, so. You know. I'm fine with this. to jump the massive scary gaps for old time's sake for all time's sake for all time's sake you didn't know sly ttk's mom has vagina curtains it's how things are it's true you, you can razz me all you like it's still true that she has vagina curtains No! Well, that's the game, I guess. <laughs> Vagina table tablecloth to match? Oh my god. Why would you do such a thing? <clears throat> right. Let's see. Okay, so who are we playing this time? James had always been. Different. James. I'm not different in that kooky. OMG, you've totally got to meet my mate James, he's literally insane. Kind of way. Come on, James. No, James. Come on. Exactly. TTK showed us all the curtains, and his mother was perfectly fine with it. She doesn't mind showing them. She actually feels kind of proud on her curtains, from what I understand. And if you're proud of your on your curtains, you know, why not show them off? Right? Why are you scared, Derpy Fungus? Oh, forgot to jump there, that was silly. Come on, James. James. No, James! I guess he's committing suicide to get rid of my verbal abuse. See? Yes, there you go. Go, James, go. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. Ah, 
I'm in a cage. Oh, crap. Come back. Come back. Come back. Uh, He'd gotten out. Okay. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that. Okay, let's thing. <laughs> let's try He'd to. He turned up here in some kind of cage. Hmm. Yay! He'd gotten out. It's taken a long time. No! No, I miss it again. Look at him being impaled and bleeding. <laughs> He'd not seen anything in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, cloudy pixely thing. thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. No! James bleed. <laughs> He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Etc. Etc. Since getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. I don't know. Learn to games. I shall never learn to games. Learning to games is overestimated. We've gotten out. It's taken a long time. Oh my god, okay. Yay! I did it! Oh my god, really? James liked being alone. No one to insult him, question his unique disregard for Newtonian laws. Oh! Where are you going? Up! That was. <laughs> You <laughs> see that? That was that was really really close. <coughs> the little red guy looked confused. His cage was a lot smaller than James's had been. James decided to find a way to help. Maybe they'd be friends. <laughs> Thomas! Thomas had no idea why he was here. One minute he was with his friends, the next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. He knew he had to get back to them. <clears throat> I wonder what happens if... Oh, I can't, I can't jump that high. Oh well. <coughs> I bet it's gonna be a mechanic soon anyway. His turquoise hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. If he didn't know better, he would have thought James didn't want to meet everyone. Wow. Okay, that is interesting. Crap. This is so awkward. Imagine them as different people. This is so awkward. Hey, um, how are you doing there below me? It's so awkward. <laughs> Really, we're gonna be doing a lot of this, aren't we? Hmm. 
No! Oh. Why did I do that first bit like that? I didn't need to do that at all. No, no, ah. Uh... I am manly. What are you talking about? I am like the manliest thing around. Yes, the manliest thing. Ah. I mean, really, what is manlier than a Raz? <laughs> there is nobody and nothing manlier than a Raz. Okay. This was working. Oh, God. James and Thomas working together could get anywhere. James didn't seem to understand the immense oh ability he possessed. I am manly. It was a manly girl's creel. It was very, very manly indeed. I don't know what you're talking about. You're being absolute silly, TTK. You're being silly. I like how it says, we have to work together, wonder, and they don't do the cloud it, thing anything together. <clears throat> oh. It was a manly squeal. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Come on, James. Let your skill work hard. James grudgingly helped Thomas to each portal. He knew that eventually they'd find the others. And he'd go back to being the weird one again. He decided to enjoy the time they had left. Ah! Come on, go back up. Ah! Way that was close. I could probably do it like this easier, but <laughs> oh shite! Ah! Fair enough. Oh no! Okay. And 
James can do. Kadam! Oh, Kadam! What the hell? Why did Thomas even want to spend time with James? Was he not repulsed by his weird colour? Did he not care about his inversions? Inversions! Oh my god! <laughs> Sounds so crude, though, about his inversions. I guess it's true, but... Yay! James is having fun. And so are we. I think. Oh my god. Oh god, what is this? It's a purple one. Sarah leaned her wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. Ooh. That is interesting. Double jump at Sarah. Sarah! She spoke terms she could only hope they might understand, of the fountain of wisdom, channel through which all data flowed. Oh my god. Her jumps. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go, to be honest. Okay. Follow the beam. Follow it. Land right on it. Boom. Boom. Come on. Boom. <laughs> oh God. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle, a flea. Or more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. And she, Sarah, would know how to escape it. Yes. She will be amazing. The red one, who spoke wisely for a lesser offered Sarah their help. So long, she then helped them save their friends. Oh my god. He too had wondered at the secrets of this world. Would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. Sarah marveled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. Pachunk! That was crazy. Okay. Sarah wondered at the possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. The blind square had spoken of. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Sarah does seem a bit pompous. 
Sarah's also a little bit kick-ass. Kachunk! Oh my god. 6.6. Okay. A single jump each? These were truly weak creatures. They possess heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which Pachunk. they were probably not. And then Pachunk. Bunk, 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 bunk. Yay. You can go over there. You can go over there. And you, Thomas, are at the conclusion to this thing, and you can go all the way over here. Plunk. They were close. Sarah, sense the presence of the fountain. Oh, just one more portal to go, and then... She would have the knowledge. And then... Escape! Yeah, um... Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy. Sorry, Sarah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Thomas. Um... Oh, come on. Die! Yes! Oh god, what is that? Thomas looked at the glowing beam. That list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This? Well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting. And the screaming. <laughs> Oh, Thomas God. was connected to the internet for 12 seconds, and he had seen everything. He'd seen the cat who couldn't spell, he'd heard of the arrow through the knee. He felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that was a lie. Yay! Now we can... Oh. Oh, you guys go there. Okay, fire enough. Hey! There you go. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Thomas Boom. knew where they were. He knew what they had to do. He hoped the others would understand. They were just beyond the next portal. And boom. Here, Sarah. There you go. You there, and Sarah there. Okay, let's see what needs to be done. <coughs> Ooh. Yes, okay, 7.1. Everybody's... Everybody's imprisoned. Yay! Thomas knew they couldn't escape. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. All they were just rectangles. Okay. Hmm? 
Boom! John? Hey! Go, John! Knew we could do this. This you is kind of from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. Um. Okay. Uh, how am I gonna do this? This will be the right one. Sarah? No! Sarah! You need to work a bit harder, though. Thomas, can you help him out? Crap. Um... Shit. Sarah? Can you come down for a moment? Thank you. Then John? You can go over here. How the hell am I going to get him there? Jesus. I think I'll have to move him. Okay. Let's move you away. Over here. Let's get you in your location, shall we? Okay. So, Laura, you're in luck. You get to hump your boyfriend. There, humper, boom. Yes. Then, ah, oh, that almost worked, though. I think I'll basically need to do the same thing here. John, I'll need your help as well. Come on, Thomas. Ah! I'm getting there! Oh no, I haven't seen my screw up. I have now. It's this one. Fuck. Actually, 
actually... This fits perfectly. Okay, never mind. Yep. And now... You... There... Come on, John, your turn. Come on, John. Oi, there you go. Now, all we need... I like how it goes like... Ah! <laughs> I just sank both of them. For basically no good reason. Oh, I only have three of them. Okay. Okay. Of course I need Sarah to do this. And you can do this, and you can crawl on top of him. Claire could not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... There must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Yay, okay. Is there a way to help them? <laughs> Alright, it's the fuzzy. Enjoy your not Tetris nonsense game. <clears throat> Which is totally a good game, of course. It's just. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um. Let's get clear of there, shall we? Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Boom! Click. Yay! You haven't even seen it? Exactly. <laughs> what is this? Led his friends to the creation matrix. The system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. No. That's what the humans did. They changed the world to suit them. Why couldn't they do the same? Okay. Boom. No. On. No. Yes. Ta -da. Um. The hell? Where am I supposed to go now? Oh. No. 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 Oh God. Oh. Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Oh, crap. Fine. Oh, come on, Sarah. Throw it the right way, will you? There you go. See, that wasn't too hard. Yay! Oh, dear. Sarah, I need your help. And 
now, Thomas. Yeah, hi. Hmm. Chris oh my God. Was skeptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him, and immediately he knew he had to do everything Aww. he could to help them get there. <laughs> Great devil is in though. Anyway, um, I need to get some dinner because I'm mightily hungry. So I think I'll call it here. It's been almost two hours anyway. So I would say check this game out. It's really good. It's called Thomas Was Alone. So check it out. Um, yeah, I'll probably call it here. I might stream it some more tomorrow or something. I'm not sure yet. So I would say keep an eye on the Twitch channel, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> or follow and you get an announcement, la la la, something like that, I don't know. But yeah, I really enjoy this game, it's 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 a great puzzler, um, I might do some more later on. Um, thank you guys for watching and i see you another time. So yeah, this was Thomas was alone.